Hello students and welcome back to Microwell Concepts. So this is the second video from Imvic Tests group. Okay, so the I stands for Indol. So already a video is uploaded on Indol test. M stands for Methyl Red Test. And that is what we are going to discuss in this video. So do watch this video till end so that you can understand what are the uh, probable viva questions that are asked on this uh, Methyl Red Test. Okay, so M stands for Methyl Red Test in Imvic and it is actually a biochemical process okay that we use here to detect the sufficient acid production now the acid is the end product that is produced during the glucose fermentation so that's the basic principle here now to detect the acid production we need a ph indicator and that is the methyl red that we are using here so some bacteria they have the ability to utilize glucose and convert into stable acids as the end product okay so the acid can be one of these that is lactic acid acetic acid or formic acid okay one of these and uh, why because each and every species has the ability to convert glucose into one of these acids okay not all three acids are produced any one of these can be present now the bacterial culture uh, that is producing acid it can be uh, at pH 4.5 or below so if the bacteria has the ability to produce acid then the methyl red will turn red okay and if not then it will be yellow it will remain as it is yellow okay that's the main principle that we are using here okay or that's the ability of methyl red the pH indicator and it will change the color depending on the pH and that's what we are using Okay, so now the media that we use for this particular test that is MRVP broth. Okay, so from the name itself, you can understand that the same broth is used for MR test that is methyl red and VP that is Voges Proscu. Okay, so after inoculation and incubation, same broth culture can be divided into two test tubes. Okay, or you can take a liquids in two test tubes and you can proceed for MR and VP at the same time. Okay, so MRVP broth is having the pH of 6.9 plus minus 0.2 so you can say it is uh, it has the neutral pH and the ingredients are buffered peptone glucose and dipotassium phosphate that is the composition of MRVP okay so now the pH is at the neutral so if the culture that is growing in this broth it has the ability to produce acid then the pH will drop down so if the pH is 4.5 or below then methyl red will turn in or it will get uh, the color change you will observe is the red if the pH is between 4.5 to 6.2 then the color change you will observe is orange and that is considered as weak positive okay red is considered as positive and if the pH is above 6.2 that is alkaline then methyl red shows yellow color and that is negative okay so this is the color change that you have to remember and you have to interpret accordingly now about the methyl red solution so we use here 0.02 percent of methyl red solution so we take one gram of methyl red dissolve it in 300 ml of 95 percent ethyl alcohol and we make up the volume by adding 200 ml of distilled water we make up the volume till 500 ml and we store it at 4 to 8 degrees celsius in brown bottle or amber bottle okay so that's about the methyl red solution no one is going to ask you the ingredients but still you should know that what uh, the ph indicator is made in what just distilled water or there is any other solvent involved okay so yes here ethyl alcohol is involved now about the procedure so first the test organism freshly grown 18 to 24 hours old culture is used always for the biochemical test okay so we use the uh, freshly grown 24 hours culture and we inoculate it in MRVP broth. We incubate at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours and after incubation, take aliquot from the broth of say 1 ml and re-incubate the remaining broth, okay? The reason is if you get a weak um, positive reaction, then in that case, you need to re-incubate the remaining broth for further four days to repeat the test. That's the reason we are taking small aliquot here. Then add two to three drops of methyl red and observe the color change immediately. Okay. Then if you get color change to red, then you interpret as positive. If the color is yellow, then you interpret negative. 
but if the color change is orange then you interpret as weak positive and in that case you need to incubate your broth further for four days and then you repeat your test okay so about the examples you may get question for uh, give an example of positive reaction for organism that shows positive reaction for methyl red so the example is e coli or ersinia species negative reaction is given by enterobacter aerogens and klebsiella pneumoniae okay and this is how you should get your results okay your control tube should show yellow color and your test tube should show positive that is red color okay so this is about the test now few viva questions to give you the idea of what kind of questions you may get in your viva okay so first is name the media that is used for methyl red test then example of methyl red positive organism then the color change of methyl red at ph between 4.5 to 6.2 so that is orange then the color change of methyl red at ph 6.2 and above so that is yellow okay then name the different acid and products which are produced on glucose fermentation so lactic acid acetic acid and formic acid okay any of any one of that acid can be produced depending on the species of bacteria that we you are testing okay so these are some viva questions so i hope this concept is clear to you all you like my video do share my videos with your friends do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get notified on each new video that i upload okay thank you for watching